In this video, we're going to go ahead and deploy a Linux VM and show you guys how to do that. It's actually pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Create and Register VM, create a new virtual machine, click on Next. We're going to call this here VM1-Linux. We're going to choose the guest OS as Linux, and the operating system that we're going to be deploying is going to be Ubuntu 64-bit. Click on Next. It's going to go ahead and say, where do you want to deploy it? I'm going to say the hard drive that we've already played with. Then it's going to go ahead and assign some attributes that it thinks it might need. So I'm going to give it a total of 4096 gigs of RAM. So it's, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, yeah, 4,000 gigs of, uh, or 4,000 megabytes, excuse me. It's right there in front of me. And I'm going to say two CPUs just for the sake that we can. On the data side of the house, that's going to be where, so the network adapter specifically. When we go to this, we have two options, this and VM network. We're going to choose data. And then from the host device with the CD, DVD drive, we're going to cho choose the data store ISO file. And I'm going to choose Ubuntu 1604. Click on select. And then it's connected. So we're going to go ahead and click on next and we're going to finish. So this is going to create a virtual machine. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this guy. And we're going to go ahead and do the walk through the installation process. Once the installation process is when well, we walk through it and it's complete, we've got a working virtual machine, I am going to go ahead and install VMware tools. It's not straightforward, so I'm going to walk you through those steps of how it actually works. So we'll give this a couple minutes to kick off and do its thing. It is a slow process because we are in a nested environment. So just be aware of that. All right, now that we're at the point where we can do the installation, I'm going to go ahead and say install Ubuntu instead of just trying it. And we're not going to deploy any third-party software because we don't have internet access at the moment. I'm going to click on continue. And we're going to say, yep, go ahead and erase and install this, uh, erase the disk and install Ubuntu. Again, this is specific to Ubuntu Linux. It's, this isn't specific to VMware. And it's basically saying we're going to make some partition tables for SDA, which is going to be the storage device A, and it's going to format it with the extent for file system and it's going to set up a swap system uh, Linux specific details we're just going to say sure do whatever you got to do and then we'll finish up these three dots real quick we're going to say that we are based out of Chicago Chicago time and then we're going to go ahead and click on continue here and once it's done, we will be able to choose our keyboard. Now you'll notice that the keyboard kind of get uh, this whole setup kind of gets um, cut off here on the right hand side. There's a quick easy way to fix that. Just tab your way through until you get the uh, detect keyboard layout. You'll notice this guy right here gets highlighted. Hit the tab key one more time, and that little highlighting thing that was there is now gone away. Go ahead and press the space bar, and that will allow you to begin doing the installation. Uh, and we need to name it. So we're, I'm going to just call this Rob. The username will be Rob. The password will be capital P at sign SSW0RD and repeat it. And we're going to sp tab down to and then middle mouse or I'm sorry arrow key up to log in automatically and then tab down to that one. So this guy right here in the lower right hand corner and tab one more time to go to OK. Hit the space bar. And it's going to go ahead and begin the installation process of Ubuntu. This will take some time, so maybe go do some calisthenics, do a little bit of workout, enjoy enjoy life, maybe take a walk. I'll bring you guys back in once this process is complete, and then we'll go through the installation of VMware tools. All right, well, all our ins installation went well, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Restart Now so we can restart the... VM so that it'll boot up from the hard drive. Now one of the things we're going to have to do underneath actions and then edit settings. 
is we're going to need to make sure we disconnect the CD DVD drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck the, the checkbox and the reason why we're doing this is because if you look over here it says please remove the installation media then press enter. So we're going to do that and then I'm going to choose this to be host device and click on save. Click back inside there, hit the enter key and then it will begin its reboot process and then we'll be good to go from there. So I will we'll pause until the VM comes online. It should automatically log in for us and then we'll go from there. All right, well, we are logged in now. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is go to Actions and then Guest OS and then Install VMware Tools. So what I'll have to do is I'm going to take the VMware Tools installer file. I'm going to right click here and say copy to and I'm going to copy to the desktop and select and it's going to copy that to the desktop. Next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to close all this out. I'm going to right click here and say extract to extract here and it's going to extract the drive. It's basically going to remove the gun zip and the tar file. So now what I get to go do is I have to go into the file folder here. If I just open this up, you're going to see this vmware-install.pl file, this Perl script. I actually have to go into the... I have to open up a terminal session in order to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to right click here, say open terminal. And I'm going to give that a couple seconds to open up. see here why is that there it goes so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna type in CD to the desktop and I'm going to specifically look for the VMware tools distribution file I'm gonna go underneath that so I'm gonna basically navigate to that directory and then underneath here we'll do an LS and we have this vmware-install.pl file. So what I have to do is I actually just have to type in sudo and then dot forward slash and then vmware tool, vmware install.pl and hit the enter key. It's going to prompt me for my password. I typed it in and we're going to go through the installation process. Do you still want to proceed with it? We're going to say yes. And then it's just going to be a bunch of uh, follow the, the order of operations. Do we want to install the binary there? Yes, we do. Where do we want to install the init directories? And just hit the enter key for pretty much everything. And yep, we're going to create that. It's going to go ahead and create the necessary file folders. Hit the enter key for that. Enter key for that. Enter key for that. Yes. And then we're going to say yes. If it gives me the option for no, I'll go ahead and type in no or hit the enter key, whatever the default is. Anything in brackets is actually the, the default option. So this would be yes, which is the default. So we're going to say no. Nope. So basically, we're not going to allow files, file distribution sharing between the VM and the underlying host OS. So I'm not going to mess around with that. And then once everything is squared away, we're going to hit the... Uh, we'll be able to reboot and get all this stuff squared away. So it's going through and creating all the, uh, the necessary bits to get this to work the way that it needs to. And then once it's fully installed, we're going to go ahead and reboot the VM so that it will have the requisite file installs knocked out and ready to go. And then we'll be in good shape. That's pretty much where we are in terms of that whole process. So I'm going to pause until this process is complete. All right, so what I'm going to go up here and do is not on the power button here to shut down. I mean, you can, you can do this and then come over here and do a restart. That'll work and just restart the VM and it'll automatically log back in. And that's pretty much it. At this point in time, we are done with our 
install. We've installed VMware tools. Obviously, it's, it's a much more involved process on Linux than it is on a Windows VM, which is what we're going to do next. We're going to do a Windows VM2 and get that guy up and running. But that's pretty much it for this guy. So thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me in this video. And until next time, guys, take it easy.